so you are visiting a website and website and within seconds your computer got compromised you did not download anything you did not click any weird link just the act of loading that page was enough to compromise your computer that's the story of the v8 google chrome vulnerability the Chrome Zero Day that quietly became one of the most dangerous ex browser exploits of 2025. Today I will unpack exactly how this vulnerability worked, who exploited it, what kind of damage it can cause, and how to make sure you are not still exposed. So what happened? In mid-September 2025, meaning last month, Google dropped a surprise update. And buried deep inside the notes was this line. Fix for CVE 2025 type confusion in V8 exploit exists in the wild exploit exists in the wild means that this is not a lab discovery right someone is already attacking users so cisa quickly added it to the known exploited vulnerabilities catalog first in government systems to patch before october 14. so now they're supposed to have patched the vulnerability hopefully but if you're running chrome at home or in an enterprise that patch now is on you Okay, so this is very important because Chrome controls roughly two thirds of the browser market. That's billions of installations, corporate laptops, school devices, uh, maybe even kiosks, servers with headless Chrome instances. These are all vulnerable. A bug in V8, which is a Chrome's JavaScript and WebAssembly engine, means an attacker can manipulate how your browser interprets code. Notably, Browsers, sandbox, websites, so each tab lives in its own safe little box. Type confusion breaks that box. Okay, so when memory is misinterpreted, the browser can treat one kind of data as another, giving the hacker a doorway to execute arbitrary code. In plain English, they can make your browser do whatever they want, from running malware to exfiltrating data. Let's walk through a typical exploitation scenario here. A hacker injects malicious JavaScript into a website, okay? maybe through a compromised ad network or a hijacked legitimate page. You open that site, the browser's V8 engine tries to handle complex JavaScript objects. The exploit manipulates memory types, tricking V8 component, the vulnerable component, into confusing what data type it is dealing with. There you go, we got memory heap corruption. With careful timing, the hacker controls the flow of execution. Now they can run code outside the sandbox, sometimes even spawning system-level processes. In some attacks, the next step might be a download of a remote payload. In others, it is maybe a stealth script harvesting browser tokens, passwords, or session cookies. So, in, so this happens in milliseconds, before you even notice the page loading. Now for companies and enterprises, the danger isn't just one affected endpoint. It is actually, as always, the credential theft that browser you use for a single sign-on, which is widely used, admin panels and VPNs suddenly becomes an entry point into your infrastructure. So now let me tell you guys how to defend against this vulnerability. Well, we have three big things here. One, update your Chrome browser right now. Check your version and make sure it is the one you see on the screen. Next, extend that to all Chromium browsers. Edge, Brave, Opera, they share the same V8 core. Make sure they're all updated. And of course, strengthen browser hygiene, restrict extensions, disable unnecessary plugins, enforce DNS and web filtering if you can, and isolate high risk browsing in sandboxes or VMs. So if you manage endpoints, um, push a group policy update, forcing Chrome's update or auto update. Try to make it, try to automate the update if you, are, if you have multiple endpoints. Now for SOC teams and threat hunters, I have compiled a list for you guys to watch for. Watch out for the Chrome versions older than the newly released one, because they are still in use. Also watch out for sudden browser crashes, referencing v8.dll or out of memory errors. Also you got Chrome spawning command line or voucher processes. This is also shouldn't happen. Outbound traffic to unfamiliar domains immediately after a browser cache. So to wrap this up, this CVE is a reminder that modern browser, it's not just an application, it's your frontline defense. You see, the V8 engine runs everything from Gmail to banking portals to cloud consoles. A single bug there is a gold mine for hackers. So make sure you patch your browser, update, and do not get hacked.